Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alyssa. If you are not new here, thank you so much for coming back. Today's video is gonna be fun, you guys. I'm gonna show you how I make macaroni and cheese from scratch as a blind mama. Because yes, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I'm totally blind. But I don't let that stop me from living life to the fullest. Okay, you guys. So my two and a half year old daughter, Annabella, loves mac and cheese. It's her favorite meal in the world, okay? And honestly, I just got kind of tired of buying like the box stuff, you know? No offense to like craft and all that, but honestly, you guys just don't really know what kind of chemicals and things there might be in that. Anyway, I just like to know what's in my daughter's food. Okay, so enough said. I'm gonna show you how I make really creamy mac and cheese from scratch, homemade, no chemicals, no preservatives, nothing bad. Okay, you guys? And we're gonna make it in our handy dandy instant pot today because that is my favorite way to cook as a blind mom and just as a mom in general. So if you like this video, if you enjoy this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. All right, you guys. So here at my instant pot, I have four cups of water that I've already put in. and. This is my bag of elbow macaroni noodles that I'm going to dump into the pot. So we're going to do that right now. Oops, hold on. There we go. Come on. If they come out. <laughs> there we go. Come on, come out. These are the small elbows, in case you're wondering. They sell these at any store. It's one pound. Okay, except, hold on, sorry guys, my bag is... I cut the bag open and it's just not opened it up. So I gotta do some ripping. There we go. Okay. Noodles are in the pot of water, which again is four cups of water. So I am just going to make sure that you don't want to mix it or anything, but you just want to take your hand. Um, yes, I use my hands to cook. That's okay. My family doesn't mind. And I just want to press the noodles and make sure that they're all submerged in touching the water, just because that's what you want to do because that's how you will not get a burn notice on your Instant Pot. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up my lid for my Instant Pot and I'm gonna put my lid on. Now I have to line it up and you will hear when I have it lined up, it will beep at me. It might take me a minute, but eventually it'll show me when it's on. Okay, come on lid. It just takes a little while to line it up. Okay, so you hear that? That means it's starting to be lined. Like it's telling me that I'm on the right track here. Ah, okay. I'll get this. It always takes me a minute. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I turn it, and then, so now it's telling me that I'm lined up. And then what I do is I lift it to make sure it's locked, and it is locked, which is amazing. And then I'm going to have my valve over here, and I'm gonna make sure my valve is set to sealing not venting and it was on venting so now it's on sealing basically just turning it away from the center it puts it on sealing and you guys i have to show you the most amazing thing of how i start this instant pot so this is a wi-fi instant pot and i've actually gotten questions um, from you guys some of my subscribers i've done instant pot cooking videos before and usually i have not had wi-fi in my apartment it took us a while to get our wi-fi turned on when we moved here so i would just basically have to memorize like what time it was on before, um, you know, after the last thing I cooked, and then I would adjust it. Like, I would just push the minus or plus button, but now I actually don't have to worry about that because, you guys, my Amazon Echo, I have an Amazon Echo, and basically the Amazon Echo is able to set my Instant Pot for me. So now I have Wi-Fi and I can literally just tell it what to do. So we're gonna see if Alexa is awake. I had to whisper her name so that she doesn't know I'm talking to her. Okay, so we're gonna ask her to start this Instant Pot for us, okay? So let's see if she does this. Alexa, pressure cook on high for four minutes. <gasps> pressure cooking for four minutes. You guys, there we go. Oh my goodness, the noodles are cooking. I didn't have to touch one button. I just told her what to do and they are on their way. So we're gonna let these noodles cook. We're gonna let the pressure out when they're done and then I will continue on showing you guys this awesome, easy recipe. Okay, you guys hear that beeping? That means that our noodles are all done. So now we are just going to grab a dish towel and I'm going to put it over my hand so that I don't burn myself. And I'm gonna feel for the valve and I'm just gonna switch that valve 
just feeling around over from ceiling to venting. And you'll hear this sound that the pressure is being let out. All right, pressure is almost out. And I just heard the pin drop, so it's a very small sound you can hear. So now I'm gonna come over to my instant pot and I'm just going to grab off the lid. And I'm gonna set it right here. There we go. Okay, lid is off and we got some nice hot noodles. So the first thing that we're gonna do, I have three tablespoons of butter pre-measured. Basically that's just a little bit more than a quarter stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that right straight into the noodles. So you just literally just drop the butter cube right in. And you kind of give that a minute to start melting. And while that is melting, I am going to open my can of evaporated milk, okay? So it's a 12 ounce can. So I'm not, you might not be able to see this, but you might. Um, but I'm using a can opener that's battery operated. So I just put it on the can and I'm gonna push the button and you'll hear the can open. So that's my can opening. So I can do it all by myself without having to use my hands. I have bad wrists, so this is really helpful for me. Okay, you guys, so while that's opening, I'll tell you that this recipe normally says to turn your Instant Pot onto saute when you're done with the noodles, but I have found that that burns my noodles and my cheese and everything, so I just keep it how it is, and it seems to work just fine. Okay, my can is done, so I'm going to pull the lid off, and then what I'm going to do is, very carefully, this part is a little bit challenging but I'm gonna very very carefully bring my can of milk that's very full and I'm going to dump it straight into my pot there we go oh yeah okay so I've got butter and milk in there now with our noodles that are cooked and that's just gonna be warm so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a big wooden spoon and I am just going to give it a stir the pot is hot so I'm gonna try not to touch it I'm gonna give that butter and milk a stir round and round and round and round Just kind of get that moving around a little bit. So this, seriously you guys, this recipe is so easy. It's four ingredients, water and noodles obviously, and then you know you got your butter, your evaporated milk can, and then you've got cheese, which I'll show you in a minute. So it's so easy. It's the easiest mac and cheese you'll ever make, and it takes just a few minutes, which is amazing. I think it's quicker than craft in my opinion. Maybe it's not the same, but I prefer it in so many ways. And it's way creamier than boxed stuff with the exception of Velveeta, because my secret obsession, which I don't buy for Bella, but my secret obsession is Velveeta. So good. Okay, so I got the milk in there and the butter mixed around, so now um, I'm going to start adding some cheese in there. So right now it's just on keep warm. It's totally safe to just sit there. It warms up nice and good. So I've got a one cup measure. Actually, it says one cup in Braille, so that's how I know. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to add, it calls for three cups of sharp cheddar cheese. So I, what I'm gonna do is just add one cup at a time. <clears throat> I found that's the easiest way to do it. So I've got here one cup of cheddar cheese that I just scooped out. It's actually sharp cheddar, which is my favorite. And I'm gonna add it straight into the pot. <clears throat> so that's one cup of cheese there. And I'm gonna just start mixing it around just to get it moving in there. And the reason why I add my cheese a little bit at a time, one cup at a time, is just because, as you might imagine, it gets thicker and harder to mix and my wrists kind of get tired, so I just want to give myself more of a gradual increase. So, plus it helps it mix better. So, I'm just mixing in one cup of cheese just like that. You guys, this is seriously going to be amazing. And my daughter Annabella seriously loves this stuff. She goes crazy for it. Huh, Bella? Do you like mac and cheese? Yeah. Yeah. She's playing on the floor. Some toys. She likes to hang out with me while I cook in the kitchen. All right, so that cup of cheese is pretty mixed in, so now I'm going to add another cup. So I'm basically just scooping my measuring cup back into my bag of cheese. The second cup. Seriously, you guys, if you're looking for some mac and cheese that's I guess I shouldn't say healthy because what mac and cheese is really healthy, but I mean, <laughs> come on, it's way healthier than the box stuff. Let's be real. You guys have to try this. And if you have an instant pot, definitely I would say that, but you can, I'm sure do this on the stove as well. I just never have tried it on the stove, but I'm sure it would turn out just as well. But I think the instant pot just makes it way easier, especially for me. Okay, so I'm dumping the second cup of cheese straight in, 
to the pot and then I will mix that around just a little bit. And that's definitely getting thicker and harder to mix, but that's okay. And so I'm kind of taking, um, for those of my viewers who are blind like me, I'm kind of, I'm stirring with my right hand with the wooden, like a big wooden spoon and then with my left, I'm sort of holding my Instant Pot in place because it tends to spin around a bit as you're spinning, which makes it hard. Um, it is hot, but my hand is not burning, so it's fine. Um, and I heard they actually made a new Instant Pot, which I wanna get one day, not anytime soon, where it actually has, I think, I forget what exactly it is, but it's something that kind of holds it in place so that when you mix it, it doesn't spin. So that was really cool. So maybe one day I can get the newer model, but this model is great for now. Okay, so that's pretty good, you guys, as good as we're gonna get for that. And then I'm gonna add one more cup of cheese and then do some final mixing. And you guys, it's seriously as simple as that, like literally. Okay, and I'm adding one more cup of cheese. I'm being very generous with my cups, by the way. I'm doing them like heaping cups because I like cheese and so does my family. Okay. So that is all the cheese I will add. So now I'm gonna give this its final big old stir. Now, this usually takes a while because I get in there and I get deep and I turn it and I crank my wrists a lot, <laughs> but it's, it's worth it, you guys. And literally, once this is done being mixed, it is going to be all done, like ready to eat. It's that easy, you guys. It is just the biggest blessing. And literally for, if you're a mama, or if you're a dad, or if you're anybody who's just in a hurry and needs a quick meal, for your kids especially though, this is just the quickest whip up I could ever imagine. Like I could literally make this in less than 10 minutes. And it's done. So I'm gonna keep mixing this. You guys don't need to watch all my mixing because I'm gonna really get in there but once this is all mixed up and, and good and done then I'll be back with the taste test okay you guys we are going to have Miss Annabella be our taste tester today for this mac and cheese Bella are you ready to taste it yeah. okay okay you want to take a bite tell mama what you think is it so yummy? Yeah. Did you try it? Yeah. Yeah? I think someone's happy with it. Is it delicious? Yeah. Yeah? It is seriously her favorite, you guys. She loves this mac and cheese. She asks me for it all the time. And I am just so happy and blessed that I am able to do this without any vision, you guys. There was a time when I could not use my Instant Pot very confidently when my husband wasn't home, because he can see. And so, you know, when he's home, I always felt more comfortable because he can help me start it and all that. But ever since I discovered there is a phone app that I used to use on my iPhone, um, but it's kind of been acting up lately. And so the fact that the Amazon Echo can literally help me start my Instant Pot so that I can do these recipes and make food for my daughter independently without sight, Oh my goodness, you guys, it just fills me with such gratitude and I'm so happy and blessed that I get to do this. So I'm thankful that I've made this meal for my family tonight. I mean, obviously it's not a full meal. We're gonna have veggies and meat with it and stuff, but this is just our little side for the evening. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this content, we'd love for you to just subscribe to our channel so that you can see more from me and my cute little daughter and our family. And if you like these recipe videos or these cook with me videos, let me know and I can definitely do more of them. So we hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next video. Bella, do you want to say bye to your friends? Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. We love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye. bye.